Hey everybody, this is CheeseDud6. Today, I wanted to share with you my blaze farm design using some new mechanics from 1.16. As you can see, it's working well in the background. But before we get into it, I just want to share with you that 99% of you are not subscribed. What are you doing? Make sure to hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell so you don't miss any videos, and let's get into it. All right, the first thing that you'll need for this farm is a blaze spawner, obviously. What you're looking for is not this. This is a bad blaze spawner, and I'm gonna tell you why. It's because there's all of this space around it. It would be much more difficult to build it here than here, for example. This is a good blaze spawner. It's in another fortress that's underground. There's a lot of space for you to dig out, which I think is much easier than building up. So when you're looking for a blaze spawner, try to find one underground. It'll make this much easier on you and it'll be a better time. Also, this blaze spawner is right next to another one. Not that that affects your design, but it's kind of cool. So the first thing you want to do once you have your blaze spawner, brew up some fire resistance potions and drink them down. The blazes won't hurt you. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take some glowstone, light up this area. If you don't have glowstone, you can use torches, that's fine. But the important thing is that it's really bright in here because blazes need it to be really bright before their spawners stop spawning. Then we're going to dig out an area with a four block radius on each side of the spawner. And then we're going to dig down four blocks and dig out this entire rectangular prism. Make sure to keep lighting it up as you dig because the blazes will spawn if it's not bright enough. So keep that in mind. Once you have the whole area dug out, we're gonna pick one side that we wanna be our front. Go to the opposite wall and then dig out the two corners in the bottom like so. And after you've done that, just dig out the rest of the floor. Now find the center of your front side, dig out these four blocks like so, and then dig a couple blocks for your tunnel. We're gonna put lava buckets in the corners here because 116 has added the mechanic that lava now pushes fire resistant mobs, which is super handy. And then you dig out these three blocks right here, and our blazes will get pushed into this tunnel. So you see on the right, I have the lava blocked off by these two signs. The blazes then fall into this three deep two by one pit, which is where we will kill them. And it's close enough that it keeps the player within range of the spawner. We can kill the blazes in a few ways. The first one is just this classic, put them under some half slabs, whack them with your sword, and then collect all this stuff manually. But I prefer having them on top of hoppers to pick up their drops. This lever blocks off the valve so no new blazes can get in. It's just some really simple wiring using the 1.16 target blocks. And then here's a standard blaze crusher. Very simple, just six comparators with three lines of redstone dust and some repeaters. This blaze softener makes the blazes a one hit kill with a punch, but I use a looting three sword to get more blaze rods. If you make this design yourself, make sure to flick the lever again to let more blazes back in. Otherwise they'll just get backed up. I'll just take you through one full cycle here. So you flick the lever, block off the new blazes, soften them up, by actually hitting the button. And what you can do is you can throw a splash potion of harming to, I guess it could be one since they're already softened. But if you hold the looting sword in your main hand and then throw the potion with your off hand, you'll still get the benefits of looting. So you'll get more blaze rods and you can do it all in, in one hit. And make sure to flick the lever again let the new guys back in. And I just have a barrel full of splash potions here, but I just like to use my sword normally. I forgot to mention that you should put some blocks on top of your spawner so you don't lose efficiency there. So there it is. That is my design for a 1.16 blaze farm. It's super simple. It's super efficient. You don't have to do any redstone for this if you don't want to. But yeah, I really hope you guys give this a try. There will be a world download in the description below if you want to dissect this, try it out yourself, any of those things. Yeah, make sure to check the description. 
This has been Cheese Dad 6. Remember to like the video if you found it helpful. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because most of you haven't. What are you doing? Come on. We've got a great little community and we would love for you to join us right here on YouTube and over on Twitch. So check us out and I will see you next time.